I'm going to talk about the expanded form of the equation of a circle, and really the expanded form of the equation of a conic section. But circles being the easiest, that's where we're starting. And we're going to move on to ellipse next week. And your first assessment will cover equations of circles and ellipse. At least that's the, the plan. So we'll see how that shakes out. But first, I want to go from the general or the standard form, excuse me, the transformational form of these to the expanded form, which is really just like it sounds. We're going to expand the polynomials and then write it in what we would think of a standard form for a uh, polynomial, just in descending degree order. So on number one here, I have x minus 7 squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to 143. I want to start out by expanding these binomials. So I can use that 1, 2, 1 pattern from the binomial expansion. So this one is going to be x squared. And then we have minus 7x minus 7x, so minus 14x. And then negative 7 times negative 7 means plus 49. And then we would have y plus 3 expanded as well. So then added on to that, we would get, I'll do that in a different color just so we can see. So plus y squared plus 6y plus 9 is equal to our initial 143. Try to block that off. Then it's just a matter of grouping them together in the correct degree. So x squared and y squared have the highest degree, so they come first. So we'd have x squared plus y squared and then minus 14x plus 6y, and then we would subtract that 143 over, and so 9 minus 143, uh, I don't feel like doing, that would be what, negative 134? We'll go with negative 134. Is equal to 0, and that would be our expanded form. For that, check my math real quick. Yeah, okay, good. So if I do the same thing on number two, we will get its expanded form. And so we would start. X plus 8 squared would be X squared plus 16X plus 64. If there was a coefficient here, we would have to expand and then distribute the coefficient, but we're not seeing any of those right now. y minus 15 squared would be plus y squared minus 30y plus, is that 225? It's been a while since I had to do math on the spot. 15 squared, yeah, 225 uh, equals 9, so plus 225 equals 9. And then again, it's just a matter of organizing all this stuff in ascending degree order. So expanded form, standard form of a polynomial. Uh, in this case, what we would get is x squared plus y squared plus 16x minus 30y. Did I forget my... I did forget my 49 on this case. How come none of you corrected my arithmetic? On that term, excuse me. So we'd have the 49 plus 9 and then minus the 143. So that would be 58 minus 143, which is negative 85. Sorry for that. I apologize. Negative 85. And I could have edited the video so you didn't see that, but I want it to be authentic. You get to see the mistake anyway. But on this one, we have the 16x, the 30y, so now it's the 64, the 225, and the 9. 
that are like terms that we want to combine. So 64 plus 225 minus 9 ends up giving us 280 plus 280 is equal to 0 on that one. So that's going from the standard form of a conic, which is this transformational form, to the expanded form of that conic section, which is just expanding all the uh, arithmetic and then writing them in descending degree order. Yeah. Yeah. You can see we got it right. Second time on this one. This one. The difficulty comes, though, in going the other way. What if we have the expanded form, and we want to write that transformational form? Because I think we agree this is much easier to work with than this expanded form. So I'm going to go from this expanded form back. So it's really just unwinding this. We're going to separate out the x's and y's. So we're going to get them like this, basically two trinomials. And then we're going to factor them uh, to get our transformational form. Oh, Got to find the mouse. There it is. Right. There it is. No. So here we want to go back the other way. We have these two equations. So x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 12y minus 81 equals 0. So that's in our expanded form and x squared plus y squared minus 20x plus 32y plus 351 equals zero that's in our expanded form so i'm going to start by grouping all the x terms together and all the y terms together and any constant terms that i have i'm going to move to the other side of the equation so that's going to look like this we have x squared minus 4x I'll leave a space so then plus y squared minus 12y and then leave a space is equal to 81 I'll run out of room now I left that space there because if we looked at that expanded form, I had a perfect trinomial here and a perfect trinomial here from expanding those binomials. I'm missing the constant term for each of these. So I've got to fill it in so it'll factor nicely into those nice parentheses for us. And to do that, we're going to complete the square, which is actually pretty easy here. We just like, well, Half of 4 is 2, and so 2 squared is 4, so I'm going to add 4 on both sides. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the y. So I look at the 12. Half of 12 is 6. 6 squared is 36, so I'm going to add 36 to both sides, just like that. And then I can factor. I've got my trinomials. I have x squared minus 4x plus 4. So factors of 4 that add to negative 4 are 2 and 2, negative 2. So x minus 2 squared. y squared minus 12y plus 36. Factors of 36 that add to 12. It'll be negative 6 and negative 6, so y minus 6 squared is equal to, and then in this case, 81 plus 4 plus 36 is 81 plus 40, which is 121. So 121, which we could see now would be a circle that has a center at 2, 6, and a radius of 11. So it is completing the square. I'll do it again for number four. I'm going to have to erase this now. Okay. So 
One more time on number four. I'm going to break it up so I have my x's together, my y's together, move all the constant terms to the other side. So I have x squared minus 20x plus y squared plus 32y. And then is equal to uh, negative 351 for this one. Half of 20 is 10. 10 squared is 100, so plus 100 to both sides, so plus 100 over here. So keep it balanced, equivalent. Half of 32 is 16. 16 squared, I want to say it's 256, but let's check. It is, it is 256. So we're going to add 256 to both sides. And then we can factor. The factoring is easy. We already found it. Half of 20 is 10. Just like with completing the square, those are going to be my factors. So this is going to be x minus 10 squared, factors of 100 that add to 20. We're going to get y plus 16, half of 32 here, y plus 16 squared. Really the 100 the 256 are just there to make sure that our radius comes out correct. And here we have negative 351 plus 100. So now we're at negative 251 plus 256, which would be Five. I'm not mistaken. Let me check my arithmetic. Negative 351 plus 100 plus 256 is 5. Yeah. So we end up with that. You can see x minus 2 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals 121 was what we got for number 3. x minus 10 squared plus y plus 16 squared equals 5 is what we got for 4. That is how we go from Standard form to expanded form, and expanded form to standard form. You're going to utilize that completing the square method and really grouping like terms. Break things down into simpler pieces. If you have a bunch of x's and y's in an expression, see what you can do if you group all the x's and you group all the y's and you kind of rearrange it so it's easier to work with. And that's what we did here. x squared minus 20x. We're missing that constant term. Let's figure it out by completing the square. We group the y's. y squared plus 32y. We're missing that constant term. Let's figure out what it would be by completing the square. We can get those nice factors there. Next week, we'll start on ellipses. Monday, I'll post a, a video about that. Starting off just like with circles. And then again with ellipses working with their expanded form. Uh, and so we'll do that. And I'll assign the ellipse work to you as well, probably today. So you can start working on that next week. Hopefully, we will be able to test on Friday. I still got to make sure that the assessment is working. Um, but I'll keep you up to date on that. Have a great weekend, guys.